Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imona Project. We here at the Imona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, inspiration, education, guidance, advice, and in dealing with uh, the last subjects of um, the, the priestly garments and um, building the, uh, the temple, the tabernacle, and the, the, uh, the, the altar and everything. Um, and specifically the verse in Exodus 35.10 where um, uh, Moses says, Every wise-hearted person among you shall come and make everything that Hashem commanded. And a, a very perceptive young lady came to me with this verse and said, Wouldn't it have been better for Moses to say, every wise-hearted person among you, come and build the tabernacle. Why this vague, do what God commanded? Wouldn't it have been better to specify what they were supposed to do? And um, as always, well, as usual, um, she's not the first person to ask this question. It was... Um, uh, Rav Moshe Feinstein, Oliver Shalom, um, with this verse makes a profound inference. Inf inference. Man only builds the structure. He builds the tabernacle, the Mishkan. He builds the Bezabigdash. He builds the temple. He, they build the structure, but it is God himself, the creator, Hashem, that actually makes it into a Mishkan, into a Bezmigdash. The walls, the flooring, the, the hangings, the painting, the arts, all that stuff, we do that. But it's not a tabernacle. It's not a temple until God himself makes it. When the Shekhinah, when his presence um, rests there, all we can do is follow God's commands, adhering to the commandments, instructions. Only then can we aspire for God's presence to rest there. When we follow God's commandments to the letter, that's when we can expect God to turn the edifice into a mishkan, into a tabernacle, into a temple. In fact, any holy endeavor is consecrated by Hashem after we put forth the proper uh, work and the proper and correct kavanas, the, the spiritual intent, spiritual intention. By extension, this uh, applies to any holy edifice, any synagogue. It becomes holy when the Creator sanctifies it on a level commensurate with our ability to act in the manner in which He commanded us. It's a two-way street. We have to do our part. And our part is following the Word of God. And that, according to Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, that's why Moses said everything that Hashem commanded. Because by doing that, and by erecting whatever has to be done, temple, mishkan, whatever, only by following the commandments of God, then will um, the Divine Presence, uh, Bezra Hashem, with God's help, rest upon us. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.